Hello, welcome back. So today I'd like to talk about earwigs. I love earwigs, they're very endearing little creatures and they're surprisingly useful and important. So sadly a lot of people don't really like earwigs. I find it inexplicable myself, but there you go. Um, I, you often, if you go to the garden centre and look at the bottles of pesticides on sale, They'll, they'll always have pictures of the insects you might want to kill and amongst the, the, the genuine pests like aphids and so on there's often a picture of an earwig as if you might want to buy pesticides to kill them um, which actually would be really dumb because earwigs are their gardener's friend. Uh, they do sometimes nibble flower buds and petals a little bit and they'll, if, if a strawberry or a raspberry is bruised they'll feed on that but basically they don't really do any harm. And actually they do a lot of good. Um, earwigs are mainly predators of little insects like aphids. They're nocturnal and at night they climb up trees, scurry around in the branches and hoover up huge numbers of, of insect pests. So it, someone once worked out that in an orchard, um, a healthy, we're in my orchard here, um, a healthy population of Earwigs can do the same amount of pest control as if I were to, uh, three times a year, spray the whole lot with insecticides. Uh, and all, obviously, for free, the earwigs, uh, not the pesticides. Anyway, so they're good things to encourage. And I'm going to show you today uh, how to make an earwig hotel, which will hopefully boost the earwig populations in your garden. So. Come with me and let's see how to build one. Okay, so let's see how to make an earwig hotel. I hope this is experimental. Um, we shall see what happens. So I've got four things. I have a pot, a cheapo plastic. Every gardener has these lying around from plants you've been you've bought or been given anyway it's just a cheap plastic disposable pot I have a piece of stiff wire a little rectangle of old chicken wire that I uh, snipped off a roll that's been lying around forever and a mix of, a bit of straw and hay could probably use snipped up bits of cardboard screwed up newspaper it's an interesting experiment to be done there but that's for another day Okay, so this is really, really, really simple. Um, take the pot. Uh, no, no, it's not that simple. Got it wrong. First of all, probably easiest to thread the wire uh, through the holes in the bottom. There we go. And I'm going to use that to attach it to a branch on a tree. Stuff in. The straw. This is some um, leftover guinea pig bedding. My kids have uh, got two guinea pigs, Merlin and Speedy. And then, so to stop, because this will obviously just, if we hang that upside down, the straw would all just shake out very quickly. So the chicken wire is to stop that from happening. Now, I've cheated slightly. I've drilled two tiny little holes, one here, and one opposite it on the other side, um, just to help attach the chicken wire. So I'm gonna push one of the bits of protruding wire through there to anchor one side. There we go. And then another one on the opposite side and just kind of bend it so it won't easily come out. And then just squish it around. I know it looks ugly. I'm sure if you tried you could make something beautiful. Uh, maybe you could use a nice terracotta pot or any kind of container really. Who knows what would work best. Um, but this is going to have to do for me. Um, actually I've already made about 20 of these in the last couple of days. Dotted them around the trees in my garden mainly on apple and pear trees in the hope that they'll do what they're supposed to do. Try lots of earwigs and help control pests, although it must be said I don't have many pests in my garden, despite it all being organic. Anyway, shouldn't boast. Um, 
Right, so uh, this is ready to go and hang up in a tree. So here's one I made earlier, Blue Peter style. Uh, it's been up on this pear tree now for about ooh, four months, I think. It's September now, so it's been up over the summer. And uh, let's take it down and see who or what is in residence. So, the moment of truth. Let's see who's in here, if anybody. A bit tricky to get the chicken wire off. Which I guess is good. It is firmly attached. Okay. Oh, there's an earwig. How exciting! Look, look, look. Well, I was, I, I was actually half. Oh, there's a jumping spider. I don't know if that was in the hotel or um, little. Anyway, here is the important one. An earwig. So that, from the size of it, is nearly full grown, I would say, or maybe it is just about full grown. Yes, closer inspection. To be a young adult that shall breed over the winter. Okay, let's see if there's any more. That is thrilling, but I hope it's not the only one. That would be most disappointing. Oh, oh, oh. Look, there's another one. And a woodlouse. And uh, several spiders, <laughs> losing track. Everything's going everywhere. Oh, there's more, there's more wood lice. Come on out. Oh, oh, they're, look, they're here, they're everywhere. Oh, well, okay, fantastic. It works. Would you believe it? Earwigs running all over the place. I have slightly last track of exactly how many there were, and there's probably more inside. I'll just have a quick look, who knows. They, they tend to hide in nooks and crannies, so there could be some inside the straw. Oh, oh yeah, there's loads dropping out. Absolutely fabulous. That is brilliant. I hope you can see them. <laughs> the only thing is, I have got no way of getting them back in the hotel now. I can try. I shall them. Um, those, uh, I think they've almost all run away actually. <laughs> uh, I'm sure they'll find somewhere else in my garden to, to hang out. That was brilliant. So you see, every garden needs an earwig hotel. Sorry, just I'll leave the camera at a crazy angle. It works! Exciting! Um, have a go, make one, hang it in a tree. It doesn't have to be in a fruit tree. Uh, it doesn't really matter what time of year you put it up. Um, I would think probably any time before spring is best, but I've never done this before. And uh, these went up in, I think it was about May, and seems to have worked anyway. Um, experiment and see what happens and let me know. Okay, take care. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>